Hello and uh, thank you for joining us again for another short reflection. Uh, over the past couple of weeks I found myself going back to the same verses. Um, they're found in Jeremiah and we read, Blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. They're like trees planted along a riverbank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. I love those verses. As I've been thinking about them, um, a, a lady that I met nearly 30 years ago came to mind. Uh, I was at Bible College uh, in South Wales um, and um, Dr. Helen Rosevere. Uh, came into the room, just a half a pint of a woman, tiny physical stature, but what a spiritual giant. I, I sat there just not feeling worthy to be in the same room, frankly. Uh, she shared about her experiences out in the Belgian Congo, as it was known then, back in the 1950s and 1960s. Uh, she'd been there to set up a hospital. Uh, I'd been working there for about 12 years. Uh, and then literally all hell broke loose. Um, she didn't go into much detail. Um, you can find out more detail about her if you, if you YouTube it. I can encourage you to do that. There's some great interviews for, with Dr. Helen Rosevear on, on YouTube. Uh, but also the book that she wrote, Give, Give Me This Mountain. Uh, and in that book and, uh, and in those interviews, you get more information than she shared with us that day about um, the things she endured uh, and what she endured, no human should ever experience. But that's not what she majored, majored on. She majored on this God who loves us. And the one that we can trust in all circumstances. It was truly moving. Uh, and, but one story that, that she shared that uh, stayed with me. Um, and, uh, and I've called it Ruth's story. She was called to uh, help um, a young woman give birth. Uh, and sadly, um, uh, the woman died as she gave birth uh, to a premature baby. And um, they had very little in the way of resources. And uh, the only way that they were going to keep this child alive was by keeping it warm. Uh, and so she asked uh, one of the staff members to go and get a hot water bottle. And as the, uh, as the young nurse filled up the hot water bottle, it perished. They didn't have another hot water bottle. Uh, so the doctor instructed the nurse to take the baby as close as possible to, to, to the fireplace um, and, uh, and then to pray. And uh, as part of what she did day by day, um, uh, Helen Rosevear uh, prayed with the children and she talked to the children about uh, the sad loss of this mum but also the precarious situation of this baby. Uh, and uh, a little girl uh, called Ruth um, said, I, I want to pray and, uh, and she prayed God, uh, we need a hot water bottle and we need it this afternoon. And Because if it doesn't come this afternoon, the baby will die. Uh, and God, when, when you're sending the hot water bottle, can you pre please bring a, a doll uh, for the little baby's sister who will be missing her mum? Well, as you can imagine, um, Dr. Helen said Amen and thought, Oh my goodness, what has just been prayed? Well, later that day, uh, a parcel arrived uh, from the UK uh, and in it, she opened it actually in front of the children, in it was a hot water bottle. And yes, uh, you've guessed it, a little bit later they found deeper down in the box uh, a little doll. Uh, quite remarkably, that, uh, that parcel had been sent some five months earlier. And Dr. Helen Rosevere shared with us that we can trust God in all circumstances. He knows the end from the beginning. He, he knows what we need even before we know it. I just found it so moving. I, uh, I know that I'll never be able to uh, be like Dr. Helen Rosevere, a remarkable woman in so many ways. But I do pray that I might have something of that child's faith to dare to trust God, to dare to trust like Ruth trusted 
in a God who answers prayer. I'd like to finish uh, with uh, this uh, short prayer I came across uh, in recent days. O oh Christ Jesus, when all is darkness and we feel our weakness and helplessness, give us the sense of your presence, your love and your strength. Help us to have perfect trust in your protecting love and strengthening power so that nothing may frighten or worry us for living close to you we shall see your hand your purpose your will through all things amen <laughs>